Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel. Just another fan TV. Back at you with another video. Let the content of these videos go ahead and hit that like button. Let the content of my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe. So, PFF dropped an article uh, recently where they uh, went over the top decision makers in the NFL. Pretty much the best and the worst guys in making uh, decisions from 2019 to 2021. Minimum, I think it was about 320 dropbacks. Okay. So now, how do they evaluate this process? Uh, pretty much, did they make the right decision for the optimal route on the field um, for the guy that was open, right? Only drawback of the system is obviously, they say in themselves, they don't know the plays, so they don't know 100% the QB progression and things like that. But I thought it was still interesting and something to look at. Now, with this list, Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens, they're ranked third on this list. So Lamar Jackson is only behind uh, Tom Brady, and Aaron Rodgers in terms of being one of the best decision makers in the NFL. And now, why is this interesting? So Lamar Jackson, obviously, we're still in year five, and there's still we still have to make videos about can Lamar Jackson throw the ball? Can he do this? Can he do that? Now, get the first one out of the way. Obviously, Lamar Jackson can throw the ball. He throws the ball at an elite level. Now, why do I like this a particular um, article? And I'm, I'm going to put the article in the description, too. Um, is because it shows that it's not just about throwing the ball, it's about decision-making. And where the decision-making lead come from is uh, be able to read the defense, identify a mismatch, or identify the target, and make that decision. And Lamar Jackson is elite at this, at this particular skill. Now, uh, like I said, he's only behind Brady and Rodgers. And this really shouldn't be too surprising from the Ravens' perspective. We watched Lamar Jackson play. Outside of a few hero ball plays here and there, we know that he generally takes care of the football. Now, I was looking at um, Lamar Jackson's interceptions, right? So, obviously, uh, you know, 2019, 36 touchdowns, six interceptions. Uh, 2020, only nine interceptions. And then 2021, he had the biggest jump, which was the 13 interceptions. Now, I look at 2021 as a quarterback who was trying to do too much especially when you look at a game like the Cleveland game where he throws four in one game. So let's say we don't have the Cleveland game. Now we're talking about nine interceptions uh, throughout, his, throughout the tenure of the games that he played that season, which is in line with kind of where he usually falls at. But I think that with last season and all the injuries and all, and all of that, Lamar had to put too much on his shoulders. And it kind of forced him to play outside of the comfort zone and outside of making the best possible decision at all times. And like I said, when we look at that Cleveland game, that was prime time that everybody saw, it looked like a guy who was pressing, it looked like a guy who was trying to make the big play every play. Now, sometimes in that game, it worked out. I mean, you know, the, the drift and fall back touchdown to Mark Andrews, even with Miles Garrett hitting his hand, um, even when I believe he rolled out to the right, threw one down the field to Mark Andrews, Mark Andrews got a pass interference, but he still caught it with one hand. So even when it worked out, it was still a guy maybe trying to do too much. And I think that when we get graphs like this, right, and we have to hear about Lamar Jackson can't read defenses, oh, he can't handle the blitz, that's why this and that, it shows that if any analyst, anybody that breaks down Lamar Jackson's game shows that he's a great passer, okay? I just think that as the Ravens, we just need to get him back to feeling comfortable in the pocket so he can make those optimal decisions. Now, what have the Ravens done to – um, alleviate that pressure off Lamar Jackson. Obviously, they've bolstered the offensive line. Um, a lot of guys are coming back from injury. And this receiving core, while young and unproven, are guys that Lamar Jackson is comfortable with and confident in. Right? So I, I do think that that 13 interception mark, and Lamar Jackson had like a 3.4% interception rate, which was one of the worst in the NFL last year. Okay? Now, that was a big jump. But I do think that with everything that's been built around him for this season, we'll see that drop and we'll see the quarterback who makes the calm, right decisions um, at an optimal level. Now, also was a big thing in this article, too, was not just making the right decision. Can you execute when you make the right decision? OK, and Lamar Jackson, he also topped in at a above above average to elite level in that as well. So not only could he read the defense know that this is the right decision to throw the ball to this guy, but he also executed the throw as well. Now, like I, like, once again, I shouldn't be surprised those Ravens fans, but I think to outside eyes reading this chart, I think they were a little shocked by that because 
we get dazzled by the running highlights and things like that. But oh, Lamar Jackson is a, it really, if you wanted to be a classic drop back quarterback, he could be that. Now, uh, that might be surprising to some people who, like I said, don't watch the Ravens and things like that. But Lamar Jackson is a guy who can do this on a consistent basis. And these stats pro prove it. This is over three seasons. So not just his best year in 2019, his MVP year, not just 2020, not just 2021, but all three years. So to, for him to be third in that decision making and then to be still a top level, top half of the league guy in executing the decisions, uh, it proves that Lamar Jackson obviously is one of the lead quarterbacks in the game. We already knew that. But it also proves that when it comes to processing and making throws, there are a few, there are a few better players in the league than Lamar Jackson. Now, Lamar Jackson has been doing a lot this offseason. He's been working out, balking up. I mean, I know you've probably seen the uh, the pictures of him floating around. I mean, we're not floating around. He put him out himself, really. And uh, he was a completely different guy from year one to, you know, year five now. So, Lamar Jackson is a guy that's going to continue to get better. I expect this season to be a huge season for him. I do expect the interception total to drop. Um, maybe maybe around 10 interceptions this year. But I do expect 30-plus touchdowns from Lamar Jackson throwing the ball this year as well. Uh, so I like this PFF article, not just because it showed Lamar Jackson in a positive light, but just because it was kind of a new, um, it was a new system of tracking quarterback decisions. So it was interesting to see where guys ranked, who was high, who was low. And um, that's what I found interesting about it. Lamar Jackson being as high as he was didn't surprise me. It might surprise other people, but it did not surprise me. Um, so with PFF, obviously they can be hit and miss. Everything isn't perfect. Everything isn't always correct. But, you know, you got to evaluate games from an analytical standpoint and from watching it with your own eyes. We can't get too caught up in the numbers. But when the numbers and the and watching it with your own eyes match, then, you know, you, you can follow that. And the, anal the analytics prove that Lamar Jackson is a elite passer, elite decision maker. And your eye test, if you watch the game, should prove that as well. So I wanted to drop this video talking about Lamar Jackson being one of the best decision makers in the NFL. And how I only expect him to get better this upcoming season. I think another MVP season is up uh, definitely in the consideration to happen. And, um, yeah, man, with everything he's been doing this offseason, he's putting himself in the best possible shape to actually have that happen. So it's your boy Gabriel. There's another fan TV. I'm out.